Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video about this. Uh, somebody sent me, and it's got some vector lines that are, on, are not joined. And as you can see, I just changed one of them to red. And by doing that, it left the ones that aren't joined in black. So I'm going to, hopefully this will be a little short video. I'm going to show how to do this a different way, and then... I'm basically doing this for this one viewer. This thing has a lot, a lot of nodes. And we need to get rid of some of those nodes. So I'm going to click on the black line and hold down the shift key. Click on the other black line. Click on those black lines. And then click on my red line. And I'm going to go up to arrange and I'm going to go combine. What that did, it put them all together. Now I'm going to put my nudge factor on back on 15, like on the previous video. And I'm going to click on the red, and you can see it did the same thing as the weld tool. Now, I'm going to have to cursor over to get it off the page. Let's look at the look at the nodes. There are 21,231 nodes. That's I've never seen anything even close to that. So one way to get rid of a lot of the nodes, and this particular person does have x19 uh, i i have it but i don't have it for the making a video so you could use the smoothing tool but this is a quick way so we let's get back to that what we had we had 21 221 now let's take this smart fill tool and let's fill it in and because of all those notes at first i thought my computer was dying or dead but it's because of all those nodes is what's taking so long to color fill this or smart fill this. So just bear with me for a second. Hopefully it'll work. And keep in mind, I use my nudge factor so I can nudge it back over. But that's what's happening. There's so many nodes that it's the smart fill tool, at least on my old computer, is, is uh, really causing us some trouble. Hopefully it'll just be another second. And this will also do a couple of things. It'll it'll complete kind of like a weld would do. So we're done. I'm going to get the pick tool. I'm going to move it to the left one click. And let's take away the fill and put an outline. Now we took the nodes from 21,231 down to 155 nodes, which is still a lot of nodes, but that would be a lot better. So then you could put this back and that will cut much, much better. And he still got these other problems on the inside, but I'm not going to take your time to do that. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.